Welcome guys, Trevor here. I've, uh, I thought I'd better put something up. I haven't put an episode up for a little while. I've been fairly flat out. Anyone that works in video production, I'm sure will tell you that you've got to prioritize what you work on and just how much time you can dedicate to certain, you know, each component or each project you work on. And uh, the last few weeks have been a little bit like that. Uh, also, I think, um, to be honest, you know, some of the stuff I was covering, uh, it's all serious, serious, serious. We had, you know, the memorial with Aya Masawi and, and, and her tragic death, or tragic murder, I should say. Uh, and then there was some, some stuff with, uh, you know, anti-racism and anti-Nazi stuff, and it all got very, very serious. So it's been nice to uh, just take a break from some of that stuff and work on some fictional projects um, and let the creative juices flow a little bit. But I, but I did want to put something up. Um, working uh, on a couple of different projects recently, I worked with a local uh, comedian. Uh, her name's Hell Child, and she's a political uh, satirist. A satirist? Satirist? There we go. Satirist? Anyway. She does impersonations of political figures. There we go. Uh, and she does, a, she does an impersonation of Pauline, well, Pauline Fartson, and it's... Uh, uh, Donald Trump and various other people. Went, she had a couple of shows in the in Melbourne International Comedy Festival and it was great to do some work for her and that's been brilliant. I did some filming and she's got some material now she can use for upcoming pro promotions and things like that. So that'll be really cool. We are, we are, oh, give me that microphone. Where's that I stuck it on a chair. Sorry, it's my new equipment. <laughs> Oh, look, it's very one, two, three, one, two, it's very, very swish. One, two, three, one, two, one, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, oh, one, two, three, one, there we go. Beautiful. We'll do that so we can okay, see what... Tell me when it's on. It's on now. Oh. See, very nice. Hi. So, here on uh, Out and About with Trevor, I get to some weird places and interesting places, and tonight's no exception. Once again, I've uh, come across uh, Pauline Fartson, and... Hi. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, you're going off prematurely. That's oh, not right. I oh, know. <laughs> they're, they're perfectly safe as long as the safety catches on. Well, that's what they say. That's exactly what they say. Now, you've we've just witnessed the apocalypse and the end of the world's come and gone. Uh, did your fish shop survive? Yes, it did, unfortunately. But it's been taken over by Vietnamese. And they don't make the rissoles properly. They make them all wrong. You're supposed to do the batter by hand and they put the sausage thing in, in you know, into the rissole. Into okay. the, oh, it's the Dagwood dogs. <laughs> no, they, they stuff up the Dagwood dogs. They don't put the Dagwood into the dog properly. Well, that's, that's just no good at all. So your Apocalypse Hour, part of the uh, Melbourne International Comedy Festival, has been going absolutely crackers. It has. This is the second show I've seen. Absolutely awesome. I'll tell you what, laugh my ass off. It's uh, well worth checking out. And are we going to see it like in other revolutions, like other places you're going to have it out yeah, and about? Yeah, I'm doing it soon, possibly at Pride of Footscray, but it's going to tour around a bit. Yep. You know. Well, <laughs> well as, as all good apocalypses should. Um, <laughs> now, I've got to say, you've had an absolutely ensemble cast of people tonight. We've had Queen Elizabeth II. Yeah. We've had... Uh, the right honourable uh, Tony Abbott. <laughs> oh yeah, he was he was well he was great for a while. For a while, yeah. yeah well, yeah, I didn't. Vote I don't for like it. Though. I didn't vote for no. him. Uh, and we've also had um, the Mad Catter. <laughs> Catter the Mad Hatter, yes, yes. Bob, Bob Cat. You've got to be careful. Cat. I don't like hanging shit oh, on people Bob's with hats. Scary. Bob's scary. Bob's a scary one. Oh, <laughs> Bob is Bob is He's very nuts. Not like me. <laughs> yes, and, I'm and, normal. And we suspect a little bit racist. Oh. Uh, <laughs> so, look. Absolutely. He's just Australian, like me. And we're I've got to say... Australian. We're Indigenous, you know, because we're, in, we're Australians. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, look, all jokes aside, I have to say that uh, your offsider Duff has done an absolutely amazing job tonight. He and we has. might actually go and grab him in a minute. But, uh, yeah. He, he's been, and, oh. and look, I, I do... not as great as me. No, no, no. Not as no, great as me, Trevor. No, not as great <laughs> as... Okay, whoa, 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 careful with that. Um, 
I do I do love his line about it's hard to do future projections with when there's no future. So <laughs> <laughs> it's just a minor hiccup. It's book figures, Trevor. <laughs> book <laughs> figures. Well, I've never understood the the economic the market. So <laughs> the apocalypse is great. It's coming and it's exciting. Outst- and it's full of possibilities, outstanding. especially for me. Outstanding. Will you go and mingle with the crowd? And um, I will. I'll go and grab Duff and oh. we'll see. We'll have a chat. Oh, oh, okay. oh, oh, hey, what are you oh, doing? Oh, I'm so sorry, Trevor. Oh, never mind. He'll be back. He's tough, you know. <laughs> Put the safety catch on. It's, right. it's hard to be out and about when I'm dead. <laughs> Well, on Out and About with Trev, we like to cover all sorts of different angles, and we were trying to get, um, what's his name, Slater, the economic... Jeffrey Slater. That's the one, yes, yes, that's the one. Yes, liberal, yes, that's the one. Economist. A- yes, a- yes. AKA Duff. Here we go. Um, nice work tonight. Um, the apocalypse has come and gone. Just had a chat with Pauline. She's concerned that uh, the new Vietnamese people that have taken over her fish and chip, sh- fish and chip shop aren't actually doing uh, things appropriately, so... No pity. Yes, yeah, because Pauline did. She did such a good job of running the fish and chip shop. They'd come in and go. There's not enough vinegar on this chips, and Pauline would go. Yeah, that solved that. Would solve that clearly. So no one could really run a fish and chip shop as good as Pauline, but they can try. God I, bless I them. just wonder if that is the secret uh, ingredients for um, the other the other franchise that opposes McDonald's. Um. <laughs> yes, yes. You need that little element of spite. That element yeah. of right right wing spite. Yes, yes. Look, yes the, but, the Apocalypse Variety Hour, it's been a cracking thing. Second night, I reckon mm-hmm. this tonight was, was amazing. Uh, mm-hmm. it's, I love it how, the, how we can end the world and come back tomorrow and it all happens again. It's I know, uh, the I power know, it's of comedy. Repeat. I know it's on. I know it's on repeat. I know it'll just be. I know we, we, at this rate the world should be ending fairly regularly for the next uh, six or seven months or so. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, there you go. Very, very exciting. Yes, yes. And and Pauline was saying that uh, this is going to tour around a little bit. It's going to travel around. So the apocalypse is going to be oh, popping yes, up. Planets. Let, well, this let, planet let, will <laughs> die. Then we're going to take it to another planet, you know, Mars. We're we'll hanging out there until this apocalypse there. And I think that's where Elon's around. going. Looking so you might are, have to go a bit further. Yes, in his spaceship held by weirdness. Yes, very <laughs> true. It's yeah. amazing. What a genius. He just runs out of fuel. He just does something weird, like, you know, blame, call some, uh, you know, Thailand uh, rescuer a pedophile, <laughs> and then bang, it's all systems go again. What a well, that, genius, genius. He recently man. tweeted that all the Tesla shops are going to close down. They're going to do it just online. And that's amazing. how the staff found out. Yes, yes. <laughs> Again, weird things like that is why we love why we love Elon. Elon is, is right out there. I know whether it be just a randomly announcing that Tesla shares are going to go private without letting anyone know, or just smoking a jail. I, I thought you had to have meetings car. before you did Elon's that. Elon's the man, not Elon. He's just uh, he's on the spectrum. Clearly, isn't he? He's somewhere yeah. on the genius. He's out there. He's, just, he's, uh, he's out there. Well, a lot of his uh, a lot of his like finances. Are oh, here we go. We've got uh, a bald Pauline oh. trying to make a presence. It's sort of one of those, oh, this is, this is horrible. Scaring world was that a squirrel? That was Donald. That was Donald Squirrel. Donald, uh, Donald Squirrel was like a radioactive squirrel. He's running around, uh, you know, to, try, trying to campaign for his, his, his next election. God bless him. This is a, this is a weird. This is probably the weirdest place I've done interviews. Uh, it is is very cool. Um, but I've done uh, a lot of weirder places, really. Uh, okay. Bellies of the. Bellies oh look, I've done boring videos the, at the front uh, of Parliament House, so this is much better. Oh yes, uh, yes, we have scenic. Yes. Yeah. Yes, this is, so, yes. so what's next for you in the, in the comedy scene? What are you? You got anything on the oh, books or anything? I'm, uh, or? Oh, I'm I'm uh, off in the wild blue yonder after after this. I am uh, I'm uh, oh I'm moving out. I'm literally going to going to the Duff or or, uh, or or Jeffrey Slater. Well, I'm I'm off I'm off <laughs> to live on a beach. Yes. Okay. I, I wish that was a joke, but no, no. When with the couple of coming, I'm going to uh, watch it from a beach. I'm going to go to a beach. I've got a special little uh, pri- private beach, and I'm just going to sit there. It's a lovely place to just watch watch. Watch the world burn. Uh, watch the world burn. Well, if you're going to watch the world burn, why not have your own beach and your own secret bunker? Which, well, I, which I'm lucky enough, I could tell you where it is, Trevor. But yeah, I'm afraid yeah. I would have to kill you. <laughs> yeah, no thanks, offense, thanks for no that. No offense. Uh, good luck finding your own personal bunker. I've got mine. I've bagged mine. Well, I've got um, my spot. I've got a. I've done a lot of bush oh, really? walking. I've got. There's, I've done a lot oh, of bush I'm walking. In, in, and in, there's uh, a there's a great little spot up there near Mount Feathertop. And yes. you look down over the Ovens Valley and it stretches out to, towards Myrtleford and actually down towards Wangaratta. Oh. And I reckon that is the spot to sit. I'll probably take some uh, Jim Beam and Coke with me oh. and uh, just watch the, the apocalypse Beautiful. from there. I think that would work. So the world there we go. We've got, you, look, you've got to make Beautiful. your plans. You've got to make your plans appropriately. You've got yes. to uh, really yes. go at it. So watch important. out for the apocalypse. The most important thing is to, you know, make the apocalypse great again. <laughs> <laughs>
that's drink right. up, you know, party party hard. You know, yeah, well, that, that's exactly right. Just because the end of the world, no need to be the end of a good time. That's yeah. exactly right. That's yeah. exactly right. Well, yeah. thanks very much for having a chat. Thank you. And uh, look forward to the next apocalypse. As we do. Good. Cheers. Good Cheers. Uh, I've also been working with a up-and-coming producer. He's had a bit of an idea for a story, and we filmed it. Uh, and then we've been editing it and adding Foley sounds and what have you. A super low budget thing, so there's no money in it. But, you know, I mean, that's just how the film industry is sometimes. you just got to get stuff out there and start somewhere. So we'll be putting that together, and that's going to be for submission into the Melbourne International Film Festival. So that's a little bit exciting. Uh, it's a great story, uh, only short, uh, but we'll see where that goes. Um, I was sick. A week ago, so there we go. Um, I was going to get something up last week and I wasn't even vertical, so there we go. Um, on cue almost, my new CB radio has just fired up. I've used CB radio for a number of years. Obviously, mobile phones have become the, well, the must-have communication device that we all carry in our pockets, but there's still a place for radio communication and then they're a whole lot of fun as well. We use uh, the little handhelds, like... Um, We've used the we've used little handhelds like like this guy uh, with a crew and even just talking across the road. I've talked about the radios before. Uh, these things are great. These particular ones are waterproof. Not that we want to do stuff underwater, but they are handy if you're working in the rain. And just means I don't have to worry about it. So if we're out there and the weather goes a bit funny, and Melbourne's like that sometimes, uh, at least I don't have to worry about these radios. They do cost a bit. But um, for a while, what I used to do, I, I put an antenna up and I used to put, basically put my little handheld there, run the lead in and connect the handheld to my base antenna. Here's a shot of my base antenna, which is above the house. And it's connected by a big log thick cable, comes in up through the floor uh, to my swirl meter and then connects to either the handheld or now my new base station. I had um, an old style UHF radio, a TX4000, had it for years, it was in my van, it was in my previous car, it was in the car before that, um, so I've had it a while, um, about 20 years, um, it's only 40 channel, We're, in the last few years we've had uh, an expansion to the UHF uh, frequencies, we've now got 80 channels, so my little, these little handhelds for instance uh, that we've used, uh, they're all 80 channel, um, so I decided I wanted to have an 80 channel. And uh, I bought the thing on ZipPay anyway, so I pay it off at 40 bucks a month or something. So it seems to be the way we do things these days. Uh, so I was, that's my basically my present to myself this year. So there we go. Uh, so that's been a lot of fun. Uh, talking to people all around Melbourne, all over the place. And uh, it's, uh, it's interesting. People think CB's dead. Well, it's not. Uh, the other thing I've got is I've got a, I've got a miniature city in my, in my office again. I'll just turn this. Uh, go around to about oh there this is a horrible shot sorry about this people yeah about there and I'll go jump back over here so this is my miniature city that I set up last year it was for my little trailer that I produced in one of my last assessments at uni it was for visual effects got a really high mark for it very proud of myself with that it did fuel ideas of a uh, upcoming short production I had a bit of a story attached to it uh, I've got a spaceship too so so um, so here's my spaceship and um, we can do all sorts with him do all sorts of things with him we'll put him down in the city for the moment um, so he's all pretty cool he's all got paint on him he lights up when you hit him with a UV light things like that um, ran my smoke machine yesterday give it a test all this looks pretty cool this front edge here, I project, uh, it's meant to be like an advert for an upcoming movie. Uh, that gets beamed onto there. So the whole thing's pretty cool. And um, we had to cancel last year's production. We couldn't lock down a location. That was pretty tricky. Uh, it's more difficult than you. And I was a bit ambitious with what I was trying to get anyway, I'll admit. Um, that's just the way, the way I work sometimes. So I've been able to scale it back. I've now locked in a location and uh looking forward to uh to that uh 
Recently I'd done some promotional work. I was promoting a place in the city called Curate Space. And I did a promo, I did this promotion talking about their super high speed internet. Like it was effing fast. Like you got no idea how fast their internet is. Um, so so that and that and that's not I don't want people to think that that's oh I'm getting something from them, so I'll say their internet's fast. Their internet's fast. <laughs> Like uh, really, and I had an, and the example I used was that I had an episode that I uploaded and I know from here, and I'm on ADSL 2 plus here, it would have taken in the vicinity of, look, 14, 15 hours to upload. And um, down at Curate Space, it was like 45 minutes done. So that just gives you an idea of, uh, yeah. So that so we're gonna be filming there. And um, thanks to Chloe and the rest of the team down there. Looking forward to, uh, we're gonna have a pre-production meeting I've managed to get most of the actors to come back onto this project for, for this year. Got some new people going to be involved as crew, uh, and it's going to be all very exciting. I just launched a Facebook page yesterday, so you can check out um, a new train of thought. Uh, there's a page for it. There's a promo promotional video. I've tricked up the visual effects a little bit uh, and got a whole heap of stuff coming. So that's going to be the challenge for the next couple of months. Um, basically yeah we'll we'll redo this a bit i've got some ideas with this and um the whole production looks really good in my head uh, we just gotta yeah make it real and that is the challenge um, so in terms of in terms of the channel i do appreciate everyone that comes through and has a look I'm trying to get regular content up. I've got a heap of material. I've got some stuff from the St Kilda Pride Fe Festival. I've got some stuff from the St Kilda Pride Festival, and I was at a media conference. We had Daniel Andrews, Martin Foley, Mick Cox, who's the local mayor. We had uh, there's some other stuff there. Uh, that was pretty cool. I've also been out to a uh, electric car uh, festival or expo. And uh, that was very interesting. Looked at not just cars, there were bikes and uh, skateboards and all sorts of cool stuff there. That's coming up. I've got some other material, um, but it's about time and it's just about time. Like people don't understand. Um, and I've got other commitments that I've got to deal with. So it's, um, it's, uh, it's, it's very, very tricky. But anyway, guys, I hope you've um, enjoyed what I put up. Like I say, got the, the the new production upcoming. Check out the video. There's going to be behind the scenes shot. There's going to be it's going to be really cool. That is going to be the thing I'm pumping over the next few months, and hopefully by the end of July, we'll actually have the end production. So uh, all very exciting. Cheers, guys.